Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a flamingo. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. On the left side, draw a long curved line as a guide for the back portion of the body. This line should be similar to an arc on its side. Make the left side of the arc a bit pointy. Pay attention to how big the arc is in relation to the circle. On the top right side, draw a small circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. Place this circle high above the body so that the neck is long. This circle should be about one-fourth the size of the first circle. On the right side of the head, draw a line that curves down as a guide for the beak. At the bottom, bend the line slightly to the left. On the left side, draw another small angled line for the bottom part of the beak. Pay attention to how the shape of the beak bends. The beak should be big in relation to the head. Connect the head to the body using a long curved line to create the guide for the neck. Curve the bottom part of the neck to the left. The shape of the neck should be similar to the letter S. Under the body, draw a long vertical line as a guide for the leg. Pay attention to the length of this line in relation to the body. At the bottom, bend the line to the right as a guide for the foot. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Place the eye close to the right edge of the head circle. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Make the sides of the shape pointier for the corners of the eye. Add a tiny dot in the middle of the eye for the pupil. Draw a couple of curved lines around the shape for the wrinkles around the eye. Keep these lines close to the shape of the eye. Use the shape on the right as a guide to draw the beak. Darken the right side of the guide to create the top part of the beak. Make the shape more curved as you darken the line. Inside the shape, draw a curved line for the mouth. The middle part of this line should be closer to the right side of the beak. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Darken the left side of the guide to create the bottom part of the beak. Pay attention to how the lines curve. Draw a couple of lines that connect the eye to the beak. Curve the line so that the top part of the shape closest to the eye is thin. Near the top of the beak, draw a thick line for the nostril.
Draw a line under the nostril for a groove on the beak. Use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the head. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the head. The shape of the head should be slightly wider than the initial circle. Leave an open space on the left side for the neck. Use the curved line under the head as a guide to draw the neck. Lightly sketch the shape of the neck around the guideline. Keep the outer edges of the neck close to the guideline so that the shape is thin. Curve the shape of the neck around the guideline. The bottom part of the neck should be wider. When you get the shape of the neck right, darken the lines. The head and neck should create a shape that's similar to the letter S. Inside the body, lightly sketch a horizontal line for the folded wing. Draw this line close to the bottom edge of the body. Now draw a series of small curved lines along the path of the line for the feathers on the wing. Each feather should be similar to a backward letter J. On the left side, curve the path of the feathers up. Draw smaller feathers on the left side of the body. Draw a couple of small feathers at the top too. Use the long line under the body as a guide to draw the leg. Draw a small square-like shape at the top for the base of the leg. Now lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Curve the middle section of the leg to indicate a joint. Keep the edges of the leg close to the guideline so that the shape is thin. At the bottom, draw a thin pointy shape along the guideline for the toe. Above the toe, draw a small angled line for the top part of the foot. Below the toe, draw another small angled line for the bottom part of the foot and the other toe. Curve the edges of these shapes to create webbed toes. When you get these shapes right, darken the lines. Make the shape of the leg skinny. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Use a series of short strokes at the top to create a feathery texture. Make the bottom left side of the body slightly thinner than the initial guidelines. On the left side, draw a series of short sloping lines for the small tail. Now darken the line that's under the tail to create the folded leg that's hiding under the body. Now go over the final lines with a pen, a marker, or any other type of permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. 
take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accident. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing. Use light pink all over the body for the base color. Gradually blend different shades of pink all over the body. Use light pink, dark pink, red, and even orange. Color the tip of the beak black. Use darker shades of pink and a bit of brown to create shadows under the body. Color lightly at first and gradually build up to darker colors. Flamingos can be different shades of pink, red, orange, and even white, so you can color your drawing differently if you'd like. Color lightly at first, then gradually push down harder on your pencils to blend the colors together. Coloring can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you color for a more accurate depiction of a flamingo. Draw a shadow at the bottom using gray and a bit of purple and blue. Keep coloring until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the flamingo. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number 2, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also, subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.